I saw footage of Borna Choric versus Novak Djokovic, two of the positive cases, and the people in the stands are sitting side by side. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another breaking story and it is confirmed Novak Djokovic has been tested positive for coronavirus and that is dangerous. Uh, we all know that Borna Choric, we all know that Grigor Dimitrov, the two high profile cases, also Viktor Troitsky and his pregnant wife have also tested positive overnight. Uh, also a bunch of uh, coaching staff for Dimitrov and also Djokovic's fitness coach. They were amongst the positive cases. We'll go through that in a second. But Djokovic has just brought out a statement. He's tested positive along with his wife as well. So, uh, very dangerous. Luckily, their children have not been uh, tested positive. They're negative, but Djokovic has been tested positive and also his wife as well. So let's go through his official statement now. Okay, so as you can see here, Novak Djokovic tested positive for virus COVID-19. Immediately upon his arrival in Belgrade, Novak was tested along with all members of the family and the team with whom he was in Belgrade and Zadar. Uh, which is where this all kind of broke out in uh, in the news anyway, uh, he's not showing any symptoms. So he's not showing any symptoms, but that doesn't matter. This virus doesn't need to show symptoms to be uh, contagious. So that's that's the big takeaway from this. Uh, this is his words. The moment we arrived in Belgrade, we went to, the, uh, to get tested. My result is positive, just as Yelena's, which is his wife, uh, but the children are showing negative results, which is a good thing for them. Uh, everything we did... Uh, in the past month, we did with a pure heart and sincere intentions. Our tournament meant to unite and share a message of solidarity and compassion throughout the region. The tour, uh, the tour, has been designed to help both established and up-and-coming tennis players from southeastern Europe to gain access to some competitive tennis while the various tours are on hold due to the COVID-19 situation. It was all born out of a, phil a philanthropic idea to direct all raised funds towards people in need and in and it warmed my heart to see how everybody strongly responded to this. We organized the, to the tournament at the moment when the virus has weakened, believing the conditions for hosting the tour had been met. Unfortunately, this virus is still present and it is a new reality that we are all still learning to cope with and live with. I am hoping things, uh, I am hoping things will ease with time so we can all resume lives the way they were i'm extremely sorry for each individual case of infection i hope that it will not complicate anyone's health situation and that everyone will be fine i will remain in self-isolation for the next 14 days and repeat the test in five days so that is djokovic's official statement and now we know that the adria tour was out of uh, it was a charity event but it did rub up uh, rub a lot of people up the wrong way let's go through the players that have tested positive, also the coaching staff as well, and also the players that have tested negative because that's just as important. So we've got Dimitrov on the list of positives. We've got Troitsky on the list of positives. We've got uh, Chorich on the list. Dimitrov's coach is on the list. Djokovic's fitness coach, he tested positive. Troitsky's pregnant wife has tested positive. Now, the players that are tested negative, um, we'll put Djokovic and Yelena Djokovic in there as well, so Novak and Yelena Djokovic, positive as well. Dominic Team, he's tested negative three times since he has left the Adria Tour, went over to the UTS. Zverev, negative. Uh, Chilich, Rublev, and uh, Jumher, all negative. Uh, Lajevic, Krajanovic are not, uh, have not been tested yet. So they're actually playing an event today, which is kind of crazy. I think it's in Serbia, but th they haven't been confirmed or unconfirmed that they've got it or not. So we don't know what's going on with those guys. Uh, they're, they're two top 50 players as well. Remember that. Um, so let's talk about a little bit. I've done a little bit of research on the actual situation because we've been hearing a lot about Serbia is in a better place. Croatia is in a better place than around the world. And I don't know if they actually went through the guidelines that they should have because these governments, sure, they were allowed to have outside mass gatherings with no limit. So they haven't broken any rules there. Uh, in Serbia, the no limit on the mass gatherings, they had a limit of 500 people uh, or a thousand, and around 1,000 people uh, just before the tournament started. And we all know, we saw the photos, packed stadiums, you know, it was sold out. It was a sold out stadium. And it was such a weird thing to watch, especially someone who's from Australia or from the UK or from America we're all seemingly in a different position than uh, than what Serbia is, and it was just a weird thing to see, and I think we can all agree on that. Uh, and also, they actually, during this tournament, in Serbia anyway, it was one metre social distancing rule. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I saw a lot of people in the stands going shoulder to shoulder. 
Every second chair, maybe that's a meter. But I think it should have been every maybe every three chairs. Unless you were, I think it was unless you were with people that were in your household, you shouldn't be sitting next to strangers. And I think that is just a worldwide social distancing is a worldwide thing now. It's not just you know for the for uh, you know Australia and for the UK. It was for Serbia as well. And the one meter social distancing rule I don't think was applied that strictly for the Adria Tour for the Belgrade leg. Now in Croatia, this is the current situation at the moment. Uh, there was an optional self-isolation period of 14 days, so you could go to, you know, which I think is standard across the board now Most in most countries. You go into a country, you've got to stay inside for 14 days. doesn't matter if you're sniffling or you're not. And uh, But it's optional in Croatia because they're in a better spot than some other countries. Uh, they have a 1.5-meter social distancing rule, and again, I saw footage of Borna Choric versus Novak Djokovic, two of the positive cases, and the people in the stands are sitting side by side. It's a busy, packed stadium. Unless everyone's on the sa- lives in the same household, I don't think that they were obeying that rule. That doesn't look like they were. And also, mass gatherings of 500 maximum outside uh, was on the 27th of May, so maybe that had been lifted for them to get through. But, you know, I know Djokovic, we know that Djokovic was trying to do something out of the kindness of his heart. He was trying to do a charity event. And we've got lots of tournaments going around the world. We've got the UTS, and we look at them. They're wearing face masks. There's no supporters. They're getting tested every day. They've got... It's just so... It's They're, they're doing it the right way. The Adria Tour, we now know, have done it the wrong way. And we can see that with the repl- uh, repercussions of the best player in the world and the, the one of the biggest role models in our sport disobeying the rules of, of the p- pandemic and disobeying the words of the rest of the world it seems and it's come back to bite him and now he has tested positive he's put a lot of people at risk we don't even know about the people in the stands this is just the high profile cases there could be you know hundreds of people in that stadium that also got that it could have come from someone from the stadium and they could have given to the person next to them also the ball kids also the lines people this could spread insane around just those three days of being in a packed stadium i mean it just and again, like I've been saying in these videos, it didn't need to happen. This didn't need to happen. It happened, and it, but it didn't need to. It did not need to happen. Let me know in the comments down below, what do you guys think? Uh, again, Djokovic and his wife, Yelena, tested positive. Their children have not. Again, we wish them a speedy recovery. Uh, we wish all the players a speedy recovery. Dimitrov, Chorich, Troitsky, all the family members and coaching staff involved. You know, But guys, remember, we're in a pandemic. It's a serious situation. No one's exempt. We've got the best player in the world of tennis, and he's been, you know, he's been confirmed. No one is safe from this. So make sure that you stay safe, everybody out there. Make sure you're staying inside and staying healthy.